This garage is nice. I can wax this motorhome and it just stays beautiful. Clean. It's a, it's a 2015. It's got 7,000 miles on it. It hasn't had many in the past year with the move. Uh, but we're going to start to get out now. This is the RV2 uh, brake system uh, for the Colorado. I don't have the view anymore. I towed the Colorado. And with that comes the tire pressure uh, monitors for the Colorado. They belong to the Family Motor Coach Association. They belong to the uh, Red Rock Rovers here in St. George. It's an RV club. And the Colorado. This thing is done. Fantastic. It just runs great. Keep it cleaned up. It's got 120,000 miles. It's a 5.3 liter V8. And this this is done really well. The tires have really held up. Very little wear. Might be a little increased uh, road noise. But for the most part, they're 10 ply. They're way overrated for the weight of the truck. Power steering. I started getting uh, uh, some drips on the floor. It was sort of erratic. Uh, sometimes it would be a lot of oil, sometimes none. And it really wasn't a lot, so it was hard to detect exactly uh, what oil it was because it wasn't coming out directly underneath the power steering unit. It was weeping and dripping inside these flex conduits under there. And then it, it traveled and leaked uh, at a remote location. So it took a little bit to detect where the oil was coming from. And because of a small amount, you couldn't even tell uh, by checking the oil. But it was pretty clear it was leaking somewhere there. So in that vicinity, maybe it was, uh, I thought maybe it was a, uh, a line that was leaking or, uh, anyway, took it into uh, Stephen Wade Chevy. The only Chevy dealer in St. George. I might add that they're terrific to work with there. Anyway, I gave him my warranty uh, service contract I purchased with this. It was a 60,000 mile, five year uh, service contract. And first time I'd used it, and they covered the entire bill, even the fluid uh, for the repair. This power steering unit, I think, costs six or seven hundred dollars, and you add labor to all of that. And I told them when they go ahead and take this apart, to replace anything, fix anything that would normally be need to be fixed in the event, uh, you know, that you have to disassemble the whole front end here. And they even looked at the serpentine belt and they said there's nothing that needs to be done. Now they could have told me, yeah, you needed this, you needed that, but. They were very, uh, very trustworthy and reliable uh, to deal with their, their service. And they turned it around in a couple days. They had to order a pump. Um, one thing uh, that they, they didn't, when they gave me the estimate that they didn't uh, anticipate was the, the uh, tow bars I have here uh, caused some interference. And so they had to take them apart. So there was additional labor there that was involved that they didn't hit me up for at all. So anyway, that's running fine. Um, I got a KNN in the in the air cleaner. I changed my oil, put full synthetic. And this is the uh, toad battery charger. So when that toad is hooked up and operating the compressor for the brake system, as well as any tail light uh, electrical that's uh, working off the battery, it's getting charged uh, in route, so it's not draining the battery dead. Wax it. Only daily. 
And I tried some of this uh, McGuire's uh, Hybrid Ceramic Wax. And there's a lot of expert opinions on this. I find it being one of many uh, products that I use. Besides the Turtle Wax Black, it helps fill in any any little uh, nicks or imperfections in the paint. This this uh, black turtle wax, when I put it on there, it fills those in. Then, I've got three or four bottles of it up there. There's this, and then there's the uh, a more thicker liquid turtle wax black. They don't carry this in the store anymore. You have to go on uh, Amazon. But in this empty one, I put in Protectol, which is mainly an RV in RV, carry it camping world. It polishes wax, treats, protects. And it, it's a really good wax. And so I'll either, after I put the black on, I use Protectol. I just poured some Protectol in this empty container. And if I wash this, which I very rarely do, because I use one of these California dusters to get the dust off, and because I do it almost every day, there's no buildup. And if I do wash it, I have a, uh, a little sprayer, garden sprayer, and I have a larger one with the uh, hand with the hand wand, and I'll just dust it, wash it with that that. Uh, Let's see, I'll use a, use a turtle wax car wash and watch this right in the garage here. If it's really bad, I'll take it to a, a pressure washer to it, but I try to keep up on it so I'm not letting it get too, too dirty. It's a pain, but it looks good. And after something like that, it's pretty well uh, stripped down. I don't put any additional cleaner or anything, but it's it's when I use this hybrid ceramic wax at McGuire's. They don't carry it in the store um, that I've seen, so it's a uh, Amazon. And thank God that I had my service contract that I bought with this. It was hell five years and uh, sixty thousand miles. So the service contract covered. Uh, everything. Um, I told them take a look at the front end because they got to pull it all apart up there. I told them uh, replace anything that you see so I can pick it up on on the service contract or I'll get it done and pay for it. Serpentine belt and all that. They took it all apart with the serpentine belt. It was fine. Um, all it needed to have done to it was the power steering pump needed to be replaced. And I said, are you sure there's nothing else that you can do on the front end? They said, no, there's a guy checked it out. It's tight. It's ready to go. So that is the kind of service that you want to have. Uh, I mean, I couldn't even pay them to change hardware out. But that service contract paid for it, and that's good for another 30,000 miles uh, up to 2021. So, and this thing runs strong. Burns no oil. Uh, there's the uh, tow uh, connection for the uh, tow bar. There's the uh, umbilical cord and the emergency shutoff uh, brake switch. So anyway, this thing has been fantastic. And it's got 120,000 miles on it. Close to 121,000. Runs strong. That sway bar, roof sway bar I put in there gives me really good traction. I used to get a little bit of uh, spring uh, wrap uh, if I gave it, you know, the gas. This has got a V8, 5.3 liter V8. And this will this will uh, burn rubber just by stepping on it, even with these big tires. And uh, you get a little bit of spring wrap. And with that, rather than have a traction bar, I found that the way that this this connecting, or this uh, any sway bar connects to that axle, is it 
it really acts as a traction bar. So I no longer get the spring wrap and the, uh, the rigidity on the road with that uh, sway bar gives me no body roll at all. Now, of course, if I use this off-road, I'd want to disconnect the uh, sway bar so you have the articulation in the, uh, in the axle. So we took this to California to visit family and friends, and not a problem. Ran really well. The only problem was the gas prices in California. So anyway, that is an update on, on the Colorado. Thanks for watching.